In this hands-on video, we're gonna talk about five smaller, but still very handy Final Cut Pro 10.4 features. Let's check it out. New Proxy Media Warning. The first change that I wish to highlight is one that I've been wanting for years, no joke. On previous versions of Final Cut Pro 10, it was possible to share proxy media without any sort of warning. And shared proxy media would at first glance appear to be perfectly fine. Yet upon further inspection, it's clear that the proxy image fidelity is severely reduced. With Final Cut Pro 10.4, I'm happy to report that you now receive a warning message when trying to share proxy media. No doubt about it, this will save a lot of unnecessary frustration and lost time for anyone who regularly uses proxy media in their editing workflows. Create animated GIFs with Compressor 4.4. Compressor is an instrumental tool for Final Cut Pro 10 users, and now it has the ability to export animated GIFs directly from Final Cut Pro 10. All you need to do is open Compressor and create a new image sequence setting. Configure the image sequence as GIF, and be sure to check the animated option. You can also edit other settings directly in Compressor, such as frame size. And then once you're finished, it's just a matter of importing that setting into Final Cut Pro to use as a share option. Thereafter, creating animated GIFs directly from your source timeline material is just a simple couple of clicks away. Updated YouTube authentication. Those of you who upload video directly to YouTube via Final Cut Pro's built-in workflow will find an updated authentication method inside 10.4. Because it now relies on verification via macOS's default browser, it's now super easy to authenticate, especially when you're already logged in to YouTube. Easily create new projects based on source media. Another user convenient feature is the ability to quickly create new Final Cut Pro 10 projects using the parameters of an already existing piece of source media. Simply right click on a clip in the browser and select project. From there, things like frame size and resolution will be automatically populated based on the metadata from that source media. Quickly tab through the inspector. In Final Cut Pro 10.4, it's now possible to easily cycle through inspector tabs using control tab. Now this is a tip that I found over at the excellent resource fcp.co. Be sure to check those guys out. When combined with the command plus option plus four shortcut, which brings focus to the inspector, the new tab command can be a powerful asset for editors that regularly rely on keyboard controls. Final Cut Pro 10.4 is a huge update with several tent pole features, but these smaller enhancements show that Apple is listening to smaller requests and they're really paying attention to the fine details. So what's your favorite new Final Cut Pro 10.4 feature? Sound off down below in the comments with your thoughts. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.